there, boys and girls. I'm Nick in the States, and today we're going to talk about something really, really cool. This, my friends, is an early 80s Bernie Les Paul custom copy from Japan. This is made in Japan, and you can see it's a proper shape, proper depth, proper flippin' heavy, over 10 pounder. Les Paul custom, the early Bernies had the full diamond logo on the headstock. This one has no-name Japanese tuners on it. You know, it's black, it's not transparent, so we can't really see what it's made out of, but it's definitely, it is mahogany with a maple cap. This one's got some nice, honest play wear on it. <clears throat> and these are really, aside from having a rosewood fretboard, right? And that's pretty much the one giveaway that this isn't uh, spec for spec to your average Gibson Les Paul. It has a kind of a slim taper kind of neck where it kind of, Starts out slim here and ends up a little bit more meaty up here, but definitely more on your 60s side than the 50s side of, of the neck that it feels there. This one actually even has little fret nibs, as you can see here, um, on the end of the binding, just like real Gibsons do. So, and these were made from, they're made in Japan through the 80s into the 90s. They changed the headstock a little. I'll show you the diamond that they kind of moved to. Uh, and then later they went to a whole different inlay and around that period of time, move production to Japan. They also do Les Paul standard stuff and a lot of different ones. Bernie's are tough because they're still made today and they're all made in China today that I can tell. So it, you gotta be kind of particular about when you're going through your Bernie's to make sure that you're getting one that is from Japan if that's what you're going for. Um, the good thing is prices, especially like the customs like this, tend to still hover between six and $900 that you see things actually sell for. Things will, asks will be a whole lot more than there, but I think Danny even got this in the fives, shipped from Japan, and that's really the easiest way to buy. Um, if you've seen a few of my other Japanese guitar videos, this will be a repeat for you, apologize, but, you know, I buy, and this one was bought, this is my buddy Danny's guitar, by the way, thanks Danny. Um, I believe he bought this from Ukini55 on eBay, and uh, Yuma there takes plenty of pictures, it's his own stock. Um, some of the Japanese sellers on eBay are like hired guns that a bunch of people try to sell the same guitars from some store um, that they don't actually have in their possession. But Ukini's been great to having the guitars, taking a lot of photos, and when you order on a Saturday, which I ordered my last one on Christmas Eve, I got it on Tuesday, which is incredible. That's insane. Uh, so these are, uh, uh, that's been my experience. It's worked out very, very well. So this guitar, though, feels every bit the part of a nice, solid, wall-weighted Gibson. What's nice, though, is the pickups in this are the original early PAFs, um, maybe Maxons, we don't really know. Um, later ones of these came with a pickup called the VH1, also a very sweet-sounding, 50s-tuned PAF pickup. But these are very nice, and I was just, we played through a bunch of guitars today, and then when I get to this one... the uh, neck, middle. Frets on this are very much like Gibson's uh, mid-70s fretless wonders, so they're not very tall, um, not very wide. They're, they're nice, but you can... <laughs> Pretty though, and, and not, you know, definitely not overpowering. Wacky. A little soul food. It's kind of slinky and nice, but she's still playing.
rocks out, still does a. It's really just a. It's a really good playing, substantial, substantial Les Paul. Feels just right. Cool, fun playing. Check these out. So this is a Birdie Les Paul Custom. Um, like a lot of the Japanese guitars, more on the mellow range of pickup tone. Um, very PAF-y. Very, very high quality. The paint masking, all the little details. Um, on a spot on Les Paul shape, Les Paul depth. Um, I'm not sure on the neck angle, but it looks the part at least. Um, and the early ones have that lovely, illegal, stolen, ripped off, bad boy, Bernie diamond. It's true. That's what they have. Um, with that, yes, folks, I've been Nick in the States. I do have issues. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking out these things. Check out, take a look up online. I've got a few other Japanese guitars that we're doing reviews for. Um, and this is actually put up in January 2017. Uh, and we're calling it Japanuary. Ooh. See ya.